This is Jellybean. He is a one-year-old Assyrian hamster. This is him, and this is his cage. It needs a clean. So this is an overview of his cage right now. It's so messy. We're going to start over in this corner by just fluffing up and moving all his bedding. He really likes to just get it everywhere. done and I'm really happy with it. I still need to sort out his bedding but I'll do that in a bit. He's awake, you can see him there but only his tail. <laughs> We're going to be working on the sand bath and it's always really important for your hamster to be able to access a sand bath because they don't like water. Lots of his bedding has got in, into his so I'm just taking all of it out and then I will be refilling it with fresh sand. This is one of Jelly Bean's hideouts. I love it so much, it's so cute. It's a little mushroom and it also has a hole in the top. It's so cute. The thing I am holding is a homemade chew toy. It's like a boredom breaker and I put loads of his treats inside. I'm just gonna place this on his bedding. Now we're going to be working on his wheel and he likes to wee on it so I'm just going to be using some baby wipes to just wipe it off. Your hamster might not pee on their wheel but Jelly Bean does for some reason and sometimes it's just good to clean it off. work in the corner this is where he likes to pee so obviously we'll be cleaning this out i have to clean out this corner every week so the cage doesn't stink now as you can see here there are lots of poos so we're cleaning it out how many poos there are it's definitely disgusting down here and it's definitely be needing a clean
side is done now this side i'm just fluffing up all the bedding just so it's nice and easy to burrow through For his food I'll be using this seed mix and I'm just going to place it up here. Then I'll be using some mealworms to put in his little bowl as well. And also over here. This is before and this is after. I hope you enjoyed and this is the final overview of his cage.